A Cedarburg woman is heading to Tanzania next month to climb Mount Kilimanjaro. It'll be tough, but maybe not as hard as what she has already done. Last year, Natasha Irish donated a kidney to a stranger, and now that stranger has become a friend, and the climb is for a special cause. <laughs> Natasha Irish isn't afraid to lift heavy. 25 pound shoulder presses are part of a regular routine. Just increasing my cardio, continuing to lift five, six times a week here in the gym. Climbing stairs, wearing a 30 pound vest. I am not an athlete. I'm not a bodybuilder. I don't do CrossFit. What she is, is a kidney donor. When did that thought pop into your mind? I should donate one of my kidneys. Yeah. Yeah, so it was never something that was on my radar. Until she saw this Facebook post nearly two years ago from a man she didn't even know. A plea for his wife to receive a life-saving kidney transplant. They were looking for a donor. That plea changed Irish's life and brought her. This is this is a hard ask. This felt into Kelly Welsh's. It, it didn't feel comfortable. It felt like I was asking too much. Welsh has polycystic friends, kidney disease and hers were failing. We met for the very first time in a coffee shop. Um, kind of felt like I was going to like the most important job interview of my entire life. <laughs> in January of 2023, Irish donated a kidney through the National Kidney Registry's voucher program. My kidney went to a woman in Eau Claire. And this was actually her second kidney transplant. The first was from her mother when she was 20. Turns out Irish wasn't a perfect match for Welsh, but her donation moved Kelly up the list. And 10 weeks later, she got a kidney. We're just this kidney family now. <laughs> which takes us back to the gym. Irish is training to climb Mount Kilimanjaro with kidney donor athletes. I've been to Tanzania. Um, I, I work in Global Health, so I work in Africa. This trip will be personal, raising awareness for living kidney donation. I'd say that anyone can do it. I'm a normal, average person. Um, I'd say it's not as scary as it might sound. Irish's gift giving her something in return. To know that I had that impact in her life, it means a lot to me. So you got a kidney, but you also have made yeah. a friend. But she, oh gosh, yeah, lifelong friendship. All right, so Iris is going to start the climb on March 8th, yeah. and it's going to take eight days or so to go wow. up and come back. But the plan is to summit on March 14th, okay. which is also World Kidney Day. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. So What an amazing story and the connection. And it's just anytime you hear these stories, you just they're bonded for right for life. well the selflessness on the front end to say like you know what i don't know this person but i could do it sure but now afterwards the you know just the meaningful relationship they've yeah. developed so yeah. great so it's, it's wonderful and you know what people see that story and say you know i, I could do that too exactly that they're so needed so hopefully that happens and sure. uh if you would like to nominate an everyday hero go ahead send me a message